Grass Moose Pods and Pool Tables too. Um, right now we're going to work on treating mustard algae. So like I said in an earlier video, if you want to go back and check it out, uh, mustard algae is a sand or like a dirt. It kind of looks like on the bottom of your pool. It can be in the seams, on the floor of your pool, and all along the sides as well. Um, again, mustard algae is really hard to pick up um, and you can't vacuum it up. It kind of just disperses and fluffs into the water. When you're treating mustard algae, it's super important to maintain a really strong chlorine level. Um, if not strong, even higher than what you guys would usually keep it at. Um, with that, you're going to use your silk smart guard sticks or if you guys have little uh, three inch tabs or three inch pucks, um, you're going to fill those up in your skimmer basket. When the water runs through there, that's just a really good way to maintain a really strong chlorine level. Okay, so along with maintaining a strong chlorine level, we do also want to shock um, our pool. Shocking it oxidizes and kills all the contaminants and the organic compounds that are in the water. Um, then along with that, you are going to want, an, want to add an algicide. Uh, Vanish is our strongest um, algicide here at Hot Springs Spas and Pool Tables too. Um, that will kill existing um, algae that is in your pool. Um, it is our number one bestseller for mustard algae, so that should do the trick for you. Um, when adding these, mustard algae can stay on any pool, um, toy, swimsuit, um, vacuum, anything that has been in the pool, kids, pets, throw them in there too. But you want to get everything in the pool when you're treating for this. So when you put everything in the pool, then you're going to shock it. Uh, you're going to want to brush all the sides, make sure there's no staining when you're adding the shock. Um, you're going to add your banish in there. Again, depending on how big your pool is and the gallons and everything, um, you are going to want to adjust that to how much banish and shock you should be adding. Um, but you're going to add that with all the um, pool toys and everything. Put it in there because those, the algae, the mustard algae can stay on there. Um, so you want to put all of those in there just to treat those as well. Um, like I said earlier, maintain a really strong chlorine level. Just let your pool be for 24 to 48 hours. Come back, um, take a test trip to it or bring us in a water test. Um, and we'll test to see where your chlorine levels are at. Um, and then just remember when you're adding banish or any algicide, um, you can only add them about seven, five to seven days apart. So just make sure you're waiting that period of time um, before you do add a second dose. Um, other than that, put that first dose in there, let it circulate.